this is Stephanie Mammon with copycat.com. It's been about a week and this is part two of making bacon. So in here I have my pork bellies from the last video. It's been actually eight days. And so now we're ready to rinse off the pork bellies, pat them dry, and put them in a very slow oven for about 90 minutes. So here I have the bacon. I'm just taking it out of the container and I'm gonna give it a kind of a wash right here. And you want to go ahead and knock off any of this extra cure. Again, just a rinse right here. You can see that it's really lost a lot of water and it's become definitely, it has shrunk. I'm just giving it a little sniff there to make sure that it was perfectly cured. But I stuck a ton of cure on. Now I use two parts salt one part sugar and I put it on very heavily. In fact, I put it on more heavily than is honestly needed. But I like to use a little bit of bacon to get some flavor and this works very, very well for that purpose. I most often like to use this in with beans or cooking and a little less for just frying up in a pan, enjoying for breakfast. I think it's a great way to really stretch a cut of meat. So in the oven it goes for about 90 minutes at about 200 degrees. And um, at the end of 90 minutes, it is not fully cooked, but it is, uh, it is set up and this will enable us to go ahead and peel the skin off. Remember, it still has the skin on the back. So what I like to do with this bacon is go ahead and process it by removing the skin and then chopping it up into smaller pieces and then using those smaller pieces to season, you know, beans or um, maybe some green beans, pinto beans, something like that. This really packs in a lot of good flavor and it gets very nice and tender, you know, when you cook beans with it. So I just want to show you, you can see how incredibly lean this bacon is. Not a lot of fat is left into it. Most of the water has shrunk out. Since I did use pink salt in my cure, um, it still has a very nice color, a very pinkish color. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice up a couple of pieces to fry in a pan. Again, this is what, it's not really cheaper to do it this way, but you are curing it without nitrites and other things. So you get some very good old fashioned bacon. You can smoke this. It was raining tonight, so I did not smoke any bacon. I just want to show you what it looks like fried up in a pan. You can see it is very tasty and that's how I make bacon. <laughs> 